Hey everyone, Mucklick here, and today I have got a add-on guide for you of sorts. This is a guide to LaunchBuddy. Now, LaunchBuddy, what that does is it is a program that allows you to have multiple instances of Guild Wars 2 open at the same time. Uh, to demonstrate that and how smoothly it runs, uh, here is my main account with a character you guys should recognize, uh, Mastery Rank 366, and here's another, Mastery Rank 48. Here's another Master Ring Zero, and so on and so on. Now, why would you, the common player, want this? Um, well, for every full account you own, which a full account is normally $30, or if you get it half price during a sale, it's $15, they give login rewards. So what you can do on these alt accounts is, for example, I can go, uh, you know, log in, log in, log in, login and then you can see i've got my daily login rewards here in the corner i can just go retrieve reward log out and get reward and exit and get reward and exit and get reward and exit and I just got my daily login rewards on four different accounts. So if you ever get alt accounts and you decide you want to do that just to get some extra income over a very long period of time in the game, you can just do this, which just takes seconds at the beginning of each day. And then periodically, once a month or so, just you know, on each of those accounts, turn all the laurels into trade goods and then mail all the mystic coins and trade goods from login rewards over to your main account. Mystic coins alone, you get 20 mystic coins per account per month if you choose to do this. Now I have five accounts, one that was mine since launch, one that was my wife's uh, when she played at launch, she doesn't play anymore, and three I've gotten on sale for $15 each for a total of five accounts, which for me is 100 Mystic Coins a month. Now you could take this to an extreme like some people, such as Mighty Teapot, who recently was showing how much he got on his 40 alt accounts over two months, which is 4,700 gold. Now you guys don't have to do that. Some of you, this will be a tool that you do not need but for some of you this is like oh my gosh it is a lifesaver as i gotta say if i had to manually type in the username and password for multiple accounts each day i wouldn't do it but this makes it much easier so that's what it's for that is its usage let's go into how to set this up okay so here's my desktop and yes that is raid shadow legends on my taskbar leave me alone and we've got the url up here which will be copied into the description of the video for github.com the cheats richter gw2 launch buddy slash releases so you're going to want to make sure if you watch this video in the future you download whatever the latest release is and download that and we're going to click on the executable right here and download this guy now i already already have it installed, but you would just run this program, get that installed, and I have got it right here on my desktop. So this is where I keep it. You can put it wherever you want, of course. Now, when you first open it up, this is going to be completely blank. There won't be uh, any of this stuff in here. You'll have to add your accounts. So what you would do is simply go to account settings here on the left-hand side, and you're going to click add new account, and I'm going to say video demonstration then we go to login credentials and set login file and it's going to open up a guild wars 2 and you would just type in the username and password for whatever account you want so i'm just going to type in my main account and give me just a second and then we've got video demonstration here on the things now what you can do is you can make some changes on here uh you can give it a pretty icon on the thing you know all of that's kind of whatever this i have found very useful graphic configuration you can turn down the graphics now if you were to open multiple copies of guild wars 2 some of your computers might explode so what you can do is have them all set to run at potato settings so so when I open my five accounts, they are on a super low settings, do what I need to do, log out, and then open my main account and it's back to good settings. So what you can do in here, you can you know turn a lot of these settings down, like you know, turn shadows to off, turn reflections to none, uh, you know character model limit to lowest definitely do stuff like that and be sure to hit the save button when you are done with that so these settings can help improve the performance of and how fast your load times are if you're just diving in to get those login rewards and diving back out now injected software 
I have no experience with this. I have read about it on the website, which I have already put in the description down below. This is for using th things like other add-ons with it. Uh, for example, if uh, you were trying to run the DirectX 12 add-on and this at the same time, but you had DirectX 12 installed first, they can butt heads. That I have experienced firsthand. However, the DirectX 12 add-on, I just temporarily turned it off and then uh, that made my problem go away. But if you wanted the DirectX 12 to apply to all of your mini accounts, if your computer was just an absolute beast, or if you wanted to work with Taco, things like that, which again, I don't use Taco, so I can't help you there. These are options that would help you with that. Most of my experience comes with just setting up the login files, turning down the graphics, and getting things done. There's a couple of other arguments in here you can use. For example, if I open five accounts, I don't want to hear the Guild Wars 2 music times five not in sync, just blasting in the ear. So I like to check no sound on all of them. That is another thing that I find very useful. Uh, once all that is done, you can go to the home setting. You know what, I think I didn't hit save, so I'm gonna do that right now. And I can go to the one that I just made and hit launch GW2, okay? So it just finished launching. We are in the character selection screen. And if we open up the game menu, despite the fact that the sound is on, we can't hear anything right now. That is because of that no sound argument. And a couple other things, character model limit is on lowest, the shadows are on none, the reflections are on none, the changes we made are reflected here, which is very handy. Now, I don't need to keep the video demonstration set up, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to video demonstration and I'm just going to remove that. And these are my accounts, as I mentioned earlier, I've got my main one, uh, my wife's old account she doesn't play anymore, and the three alt accounts that I purchased when they were half price. I wanna show you from from the start how easy it is to use this at the beginning of my day. I literally come downstairs, I'm like, all right, I need to get the login, daily logins, bing, 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 launch. Now, usually at this point, I'll just start checking my email or something. It takes a minute. I get reminders to sign up for the SMS thing. I'm just gonna hit, you know, just remind me later, that's fine. Uh, if you did set up the SMS on those other accounts, then it will just skip right through that. But that, that right there is how long it takes to load in. So as you can see, I can easily swap between my accounts. I could log them all back in. I don't need to. You saw me get my daily login rewards a few minutes ago. Or I could be like, all right, I'm done. And just be like, exit program, next one, exit program, next one, exit program, last one, exit program. And that's it. Those are the basics of Launch Buddy. I, I've been meaning to do this for quite a while. This is the only other third-party program I use with Guild Wars 2. Let's go over a common question I get. Is this allowed? Yes, it's totally fine. Uh, they, they this is not considered botting. It's barely considered multiboxing. You are not moving all of the characters at the same time. If you were pressing one key and all five of my different accounts were responding to that key press, then I believe that would be against the rules. But all I'm doing is at any given time, four of them are standing still, and the other one is uh, the one that I'm controlling for a second, and that does not break any of their current rules. If that does change at some point in the future, I will take this video down, but this program has been available in some way, shape, or form for, I believe, at least five years. I just one that I have been using for about a year now, but just now getting around to making a video on it. One final note to add is if you're using Launch Buddy and it ever says update required, or you try to launch a bunch of your windows like you normally do, and you have some error messages pop up, it may Maybe because the game Guild Wars 2 just had an update and you need to let that update run for each of your accounts. So to do that, if you have this issue, go to account settings, click on each one. So I'm just going to hit main and hit repair login file and it will run the repair and that's it. It's patched and the next one, you know, it, it, however many you've got, just click each one and then, you know, re hit repair. That's it. That's all you need to do. And after that, when you go back to the main, you should be able to then resume opening multiple at a time. And as you can see, I am now logged in with these two accounts and you can see I'm flipping between them as I was before. Um, I was reminded of this and added this to the guide a little bit later. Uh, they did a re update yesterday and I was not able to use Launch Buddy today. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to put that into the guide. So that's how you update it if you need to do so. So hopefully that helps some of you guys out. And that's all there is to Launch Buddy. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, please consider hitting that like button to help us out with the YouTube algorithm. If you got any tips or tricks related to Launch Buddy, please put them in the comments down below. If you get stuck on anything, check the comments section or check the website where you download it. They 
have got a help section there, and if there is a problem that you encounter that I did not hit, they would be the ones that might be able to assist you. And lastly, subscribe for more similar content. That's it for today, and happy gaming! Thank you.